So uh, I was getting a misfire cylinder for. Changed the spark plug, swapped the coil, still same shit. It would uh, go to misfiring, then it would run okay for a day. It would misfire, run okay. So it said, let's do a compression test. One, two, three. One piston one, you know, cylinder one, two, three. All 155 psi, which is good. Um, and then we got this fucking bastard right here, number four. Car's warm, you know. I, I had it running before I did all this. It's not gonna put any oil in the. Uh, it's on there, but look at this. The damn thing wasn't even smoking out the exhaust, nothing. It's crazy. Okay, all right. What's the other side is a fan. On the issue too. All right, grab the issue too. Wanda. All right, grommet. Yesho two. All right, dear. You be your. So we start on the vacuum. I zakat ju se tu. Onda imamo. All right, dear. You be your two. Ovaj dio je bio tu, to je ovaj za, zašto je ovo, ne mogu se nija sjeti, za nešto je, i ovo, eto jebka, sad se ne mogu sjeti zašto je, ali dobro, haj, ovaj je bio tu, ovaj je bio tu, I ovaj je bio ovdje. Bum, imaš te dvije rupe tu. S ove strane se vide dvije rupe, eto tu, bum, ok. Znači ovo ću disconnect, ne znam zašto je, ali vidimo sad šta je bio to, ok. So, yeah, today I'm gonna drain the coolant, disconnect the radiator. Disconnect the AC lines and hopefully pull this this all together with radiator intercooler AC uh, condenser all at once Then I'm gonna give up and tomorrow disconnect the wiring and uh, passenger mount uh, Transmission mount and the back one and You know disconnect Disconnect the downpipe off the turbo right here, which I know is gonna crack. It's the little uh, C clamp thing holding it, whatever it's called. And pull the fucking motor. And then I gotta buy a engine stand and start taking this bitch apart. And I'm not gonna order the, the pistons yet because I wanna make sure. Still gotta me uh, measure. Cylinder wall clearance, all that shit. Make sure uh, I don't order some standard size and I need to get the fucking block board. Pulling shit. Synthesizer tube went under, under the wires. And it plugs into the bottom. I don't know if I can see that. Well, anyways, it plugs into the bottom of the thing. What else do we got here? This is the driver side. Coolant hose, intercooler hose. Then we got some wires here for fan. One fan wire. What do we got up here? Another top coolant hose. Top coolant hose, they're clips Euro style. Um, AC line, AC line, 
Uh, before I start ripping shit apart, just want to do a little video. <coughs> Battery, three bolts, two here. Positive. Just connected to a bunch of shit down in here. Okay, now we're left with the whole front end of the car. So I'm going to remove just various things from here. I'm going to remove the bottom of this from the other side. And then see which, probably this, this, no, probably just this one right here to the back. Um, Whatever is connected to the shifter plate, I mean all that stuff. And uh, whatever it is, the rest of the battery tray, I guess. Maybe I don't have to take that off. But this is how far I got right now. No, it's not really a good how to video, but took the whole front, basically, radiator support off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. One. This computer was held on the side. All these, this harness that, that, couple of things I labeled everything took videos so yeah that's we're here now So I uh, got the timing chain off, getting ready to take the cams off. Uh, you don't have to uh, remove the injectors or anything when you take the head off. So you just keep everything on there. Um, other than, th than that, you got the head bolts in the bottom. Uh, don't reuse those. They're, uh, they stretch. They're one-time use. And uh, that's about it for now. So, uh... Had to uh, record this because there was music in the background, so it was just me talking now. But that's about it for now. Okay, so uh, I got the head removed. And uh, you can still see the cross hatches in here. Everything looks good so far. You know, uh, as you guys can see, still, you know, don't see anything yet, so I have to take it apart. But, uh, here's, uh, the head. The valves look good to me. I'll flip it around for you guys. Um, kind of heavy, the head, so. But, uh, as you can see, Everything, you know, visually looks good. Um, no gouges, no chips. Nothing looks bent, although uh, there's no pressure on them because, uh, you know, the cams are off. But, uh, you know, you can see some discoloration, I guess, uh, from most of the oil hitting there, uh, getting through the, you know, the ring line went, basically. So it's just getting through a little, you know, a little more oil. It surprisingly, didn't smoke at all. You know, it misfired for me. But uh, still gonna have to, uh, you know, drop the pan, uh, unbolt the rods, pull the pistons out, and uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll see.
you know what what the damage really is and uh yeah so as you can see uh definitely ring length took a good chunk of the side of the piston some of the rings are gone uh exactly what i was expecting to be the problem Sorry, my editing skills aren't good. It's a repeat. Basically, timing chains off. These are the cams loose. Just remember to put everything back in order, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when you put it back, all the bolts go, you know, in the same spot. You can reuse the cam bolts and and, and uh, stuff like that. I just wouldn't reuse the head bolts. Basically, what I was told by a, a builder. I got this from a Dido parts store. Didn't want to take the block to a machine shop because fuck that. So as you can see, I haven't taken these pistons out yet. What what the walls look like, and then when I use this tool, bam, nice. Got the nice cross hatches for the oil to stick. Get some nice good lubrication in there until until my rings uh, wear in. So we'll be good. So I'm going to pull the rest of these out. Got my pistons, got everything ready to go. Just going to use this. What they use when they build it, so fuck it. No. Yep. And timing chain took me forever to figure this shit out. Got them on, it's tight. I got to put everything else on because this spins separately to this. So it's fucking stupid. But, little fucking thing. It's shorter here and longer here, if you see what I'm saying. So I had this thing opposite. I was trying to fucking put this shit in for like two days now, my dumbass. I just had to turn the camera around. But whatever, got it figured out now. This fucking thing right here locks the cam. And this little bolt right here locks the crank, as you can see. It's holding the crank in place. Then you can put the chain on, tension it. Now everything's locked. Tight, real tight. These little fucking washers are what keeps the pressure from here to here and keeps everything spinning together. These so I got the timing chain cover on. Got the pulley on. Timing chain, everything's aligned. Timing's good to go. Uh, gotta wait till the sealant here. I put a little heater just in case. And then... uh other misc shit like the fuel pump and valve cover, fuel, you know, all the little misc shit that goes. Then transmission, then I'm going to wash them back in the car. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> so I thought I'd try to wash it as best as I could. I'll flip it around. I still got to wipe it down and shit but way better than what it was <laughs> there's oil all over here from the blow off valve all right i pretty much got her all, all all together everything's on turbo's on basically everything intake manifold all i'm missing now is i have but i don't want to reuse the turbo oil feed line turbo return turbo coolant and that's pretty much it. Got to put the transmission on still waiting on that. Uh, but other than that, pretty much ready to go. Need some, Oh yeah, I need some new belts too. <laughs> you know, just basic shit. Told you I got it. <laughs> All I got to do now is uh, put some of these. I got these right here, one step colder. No, it won't, won't focus, but whatever. And for the oil, I'm going to put the cheapest shit I could find. Just, you know, to start it and run it for like at least 300 miles. And then for the training fluid, I got this. The good shit. The good shit. But other than that, you know, I got to put some other shit back. Just this plastic here, the windshield wipers, bumper. That's all like an hour job. But I'm fucking pretty much done. Let's pray it starts.
she's alive guys put on the heat let the coolant burp itself out so basically engine went you know uh got ringland at 125,000. Uh, so far i've put 25,000 miles on the car second gear synchro went at 120k brought it to speed performance out of uh new jersey they hooked it up well you know put the better synchros in uh all in all i've, I've had about thousand six hundred dollars into this you know through you know uh, head gasket you know all that stuff all the misc things i needed uh what you do definitely need is the timing tools uh the, locks the cam locks the crank and uh you know you to align the harmonic balancer back up that was about like a hundred bucks uh obviously the tranny fluid stuff like that basic shit Also, you know, download the Ford, you know, Ford Rebuild Repair Manual, uh, Service Manual, the, the main one, the big one, you know, <laughs> that has literally everything that you need to do step by step. Every little bolt you got to remove, all that. Uh, without that, I don't know what the fuck I would have done. I mean, there's a lot of helpful shit. When you're uh, taking off the, the balance shaft, whatever the fuck the thing is called, just lock the engine in place with the tool and remove it and don't fucking touch it. Don't move the gears. Don't do shit. It'll go back into place. You know, if you're reading the manual in the Ford, it's kind of confusing. It wants you to measure this, measure that. Lock the engine in place. Take that fucking thing out and don't touch it. Don't, don't spin it. Don't do shit with it. Put it somewhere where no one's going to touch it. It'll go back the same way as long as you lock that engine back up uh, with, you know, with the timing tool get a new timing belt i i reused the tensioner no I, actually i didn't I, I i didn't uh get a new timing belt i i reused everything timing wise didn't didn't get anything new uh the only thing i i basically put new is you know what you've seen the pistons use the same rods those are fine use the same bearings rod bearings everything everything i reused other than replacing the pistons and rings that's it I used a little home tool from, from the auto parts store for the piston rings also, you know, to put the put the pistons in, auto parts store. Just make sure you have the thing pretty tight around it, you know, and don't bang them in, you know, take your time, oil everything up. Uh, and that's it. I'm not some master engine builder. It's just some guy who did it in his garage. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I, everything's good. I don't burn any oil. I... Uh, you know, other than when I'm beating the shit out of it, you know, after, for a couple of days, it'll burn a little, you know. Uh, and I mean a little, like, with every, like, three months, I'll have to put, like, half a quart. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I know the video's not really a how-to, kind of like uh, what you're going to be getting yourself into. So, if you know, if it's helpful to someone, you know, great. That's basically uh, why I made it. And uh, if anyone has any questions, you know, leave a comment. I'll try my best to answer. I rarely go on there. Uh, I'll just be making it for the video, you know, posting it. So that's about it.